I look a mess as usual. Hey guys, um, so I'm making another video. This one isn't a vlog. Um, I decided to make a tag video. Um, just so I guess you could get to know me a little more and yeah, so I'll probably make a couple of these. I look, you know, anyways. So I'll probably make a couple of these, um, but the first one I decided to do is called the mixed girl tag. Surprise, I'm mixed. The first question is, what are you mixed with? Okay, so my mom is black and my dad is Filipino. So I'm half black and half Filipino. If you don't know what Filipino is, it's basically a type of Asian. It comes from the Philippines. I don't know how else you want me to describe it. I don't know how to explain it. A lot of people from the Philippines also came from Spain because Spain invaded the Philippines a super duper long time ago if you guys know your history. So it's a big mixture of like, it's not your usual type of Asian that you see. Yeah. What ethnicity have you often been mistaken for? Um, when a lot of people see me they think that I'm mixed with black and Mexican or black and like Hispanic. There's sometimes my when like I'll style my hair and I'm like, holy crap, I look Mexican. <laughs> is your hair curly or straight? Naturally it is very, very curly. Very curly. Very very curly. <laughs> Was coming from different backgrounds uh, challenging growing up? Grow up with my Filipino family completely. I mean, I see them all the time, but I didn't like actually grow up, live with them, go to school, things like that. So it didn't really affect me that much. Which backgrounds do you embrace the most? I don't think that there's a specific background that I embrace the most. I kind of just embrace myself. <laughs> have you ever been teased for being different? Yes, I have. Um, when I was in elementary school, actually, I got bullied. So, backstory. My mom raised me, and when she raised me, she never really taught me color, uh, or like that there were different races. Like, I just thought that there were, I mean, I don't know. I just, ne like, it was never a question. Like, I, when I was younger, I never just looked at a person and was like, oh, look at that white girl over there. I knew that there were like different skin tones, but I just didn't think, like I didn't know that there were different races like black, Asian, white, Hispanic, I just didn't know. Race should never be a description for someone, if you know what I'm saying. Having that background, when I was getting bullied, I didn't really understand why I was getting bullied, but basically there was this Asian kid, I don't even remember his name, my mom remember his, remembers his name, uh, which is funny, but I, um, she, he would call me like the little Asian black girl, like, nah, nah, nah. and I was like, I don't understand what you're bullying me for, like, because I didn't understand. I was like, okay, and your point is, I remember, um, I liked this really cute boy, uh, in <clears throat> third grade, and he happened to be white. We decided that we were going to start dating, and so we started dating and not like not even kidding you five minutes into dating he was like I don't think we can date anymore and I was like okay why he was like well because you're black and I'm white and I sat there like as a third grader like your point is like I don't understand what you're saying to make a long story short yes I was bullied um, and it has definitely affected me um, from then to now because I am now a huge, huge, huge interracial activist, um, racial activist. I definitely, I don't see color as an issue and um, I really want to change the world in, in racism because racism sucks. Do you feel that being mixed has its benefits? A thousand percent yes um, especially when it comes to applying to colleges and things like that which is something I'm gonna be starting to do soon in the world statistically um, black people are not as privileged as some other races um, and so when you go to school and you're intelligent and you're smart 
and then you say that you're black, suddenly it's like, okay, this girl is like a threat. She has something going for her. Um, it really shouldn't be that way, but it helps. So like getting scholarships, getting recognized for, getting recognized academically, um, and also being black, it's like, wow, she's got it. If you say, oh yeah, I'm really smart, I get these grades, and I'm Asian, they're gonna be like, oh, okay, we expected that. What makes being biracial a beautiful thing? Um, everything. It's something that is very close to my heart. Um, hearing stories, like just defying the odds, and like, I love hearing stories about people, um, like couples in the 1950s that would, you know, go against the rules and a white man would date a black girl because it, it shouldn't matter. Just a beautiful thing, like seeing two completely different cultures and two completely different races integrate to make a beautiful thing. It just makes people even more well-rounded because you're not just coming from one culture or one background, you're coming from two or three or four, you know? And so it helps you understand people better. Um, and it helps you connect to people better. I'm like legit gonna start crying, that's how passionate I am about it. Love has no color. Love, love is blind to color and <laughs> rant over. Any advice to someone who struggles with their biracial identity? Embrace it embrace it like if there are people bullying you for what you are what you look like who they think you should be who what they think you should look like like don't listen to them they're probably jealous that you are so unique and your face is unique and your hair is unique and you come from a unique background it is literally the 21st century biracial kids exist interracial relationships exist and people just need to start getting used to it. We are not in the 50s anymore. We are not in the 1800s anymore. Like, if you, if you can't see that, then I, honestly, I feel so sorry for you. That's me, and that was the Mixed Girl tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it. I really like talking about these kind of topics. Um, so if you have any more suggestions or any other tags that you want me to do, leave it in the comment section like subscribe share do all that good stuff i don't know what my next video will be but hopefully it'll be something fun and interesting and not super long um i'll see you guys later